Hello, Driving Intelligence community. Remember those days gone by where you could call your grandfather, father, uncle, brother, somebody that knew how to fix something for you. They could fix anything. It doesn't seem like those days exist anymore. Well, this video is a follow-on to my, one of my previous videos, pulling stuff out of the bin, don't replace it, fix it. And this is that white Razor Metro. It's an electric scooter. I was able to fix it, and I was doing this at a zero-cost target. Wasn't able to quite get there, but you're going to have to watch this video to see what it took to get that thing running again. Stay tuned. You can see that uh, there's three 12-volt batteries. I'm familiar with these batteries. I've seen them many times. Two of my air compressors have that. I've got some spares laying around. Here's the fuse. Fuse checked out okay. 30 amp fuse. So I'm going to check the voltage and see what's going on with this. By the way, these batteries, you can see there's a little little uh, indention here, right there. You can put a screwdriver in there and pry this up, and these can be filled with deionized water. They're, uh, they're actually maintainable, and you could potentially bring these back to life. So I'm going to attempt that also. I found a wiring diagram online, and this is the power from the control module to the motor. So this is the motor lead. These two leads go all the way back to the motor. I'm going to hook up a couple of leads to this and apply some power. While I'm hooking this up, I should note that the motor did somewhat turn when I hit the throttle, but only when I moved the wheel backwards. It somehow engaged, and that's making me think that it might be the motor, and I kind of hope it is because I've been able to fix motors before. If it's a control module, then that could be a serious problem that requires replacement of that control module. getting any power. So I'm thinking that I've got a motor problem. I'm not getting any indication from the motor that, that it's operational. Given the motor is the likely culprit, it needs to be removed and disassembled for proper analysis. I connected the motor and I pulled the back brush case off. And what I determined is that the motor is definitely the problem. You can see the brush spring right there, it's rusted. I don't even know if that's the whole thing, but the brushes weren't contacting the stator properly. Otherwise, this thing looks like it's in excellent condition. So it looks like I need to find some new brushes, new springs, or maybe I can uh, retension these springs and use these brushes. The brushes aren't completely worn out. They're just not being pushed effectively against the stator. Well, there's no resurrecting these springs. You can see they're broken. They were made out of steel, they rusted. They probably weren't coated properly. I'm going to have to see if I can find some proper springs. It's important to have the right tension on these brushes. They can wear out too fast uh, or they don't get enough contact, which is the case that I, I'm dealing with right now. So hopefully I can find some appropriately sized springs to replace these. I couldn't find any springs online to replace these brush springs for this specific motor. I was looking all over the place and it seems like the only option is to actually replace the motor for about 90 bucks then plus shipping. So what am I going to do about replacing this spring? There are kits out there you can buy that aren't specific to motors and the tension could be off and I wasn't even sure they were going to fit properly. But in order to get the spring size right I said well that looks like a spring that comes out of a pen. So I have a bunch of old pens I don't care about. I already put one in. You can see I'm holding it in place with a piece of a paper clip. The spring is recessed back, and, uh, and I'm gonna replace the rest of them with springs like this. It might be too much tension and wear out the brushes faster, but I don't have any options. I've got my pen springs all loaded in as brush springs, and now I'm gonna put this uh, cleaned up stator in there. You can see I cleaned off the, the contacts to make sure it gets good contact and reassemble this motor. And once that's done, I'll do a quick test. Now I have another issue. You can see that this braking system is in an angle. I almost feel like this has been put in the wrong side of this plate. I need to reverse it to this side because it's binding up. And if I tighten down this nut, the wheel won't turn freely. Okay, so the brake is fixed and staying with the zero cost theme here. I had a bunch of excess nuts that I kept and the spacer was missing here. This nut, I don't know why it was taken off. I don't know if it was done by the previous owner or the manufacturer, but that was missing. 
put the nut in there, tightened it up. This is all straight again, no binding. Adjusted the brake, the brake works perfectly. And all I need to do now is reassemble, but what I still haven't come up with is an option for charging that's gonna be zero cost because I can't use a standard car charger. That's only 12 volts, and with these three batteries in series, that's 36 volts of power going to that motor. I've yet to figure that out. Finished. Got the deck back on. Still haven't resolved the charging problem. I'm probably gonna have to buy that if I wanna use this thing more than what the batteries hold right now. But it's running perfectly, and I'm gonna take it for a ride. Well, obviously I got it running, but it's not zero cost. I had to find a new charger. This is a 36 volt system. I don't have a battery charger in my house that uh, covers 36 volts. It only does 12 volts. So for 20 bucks, I'm gonna get it delivered to me, maybe 25. That's pretty low cost. So I took a $700 razor that somebody threw away. The batteries were still good. Not only were they good, they were still charged up. And I was able to fix it and only have to pay $25 for a charging unit. So get back to the, my whole theme. Don't replace it, fix it.